Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And in the last video, we took this hole and turned it into this. And then in today's video, we're gonna take this primer spot and paint it like this. Let's get started. Before we get started, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. It's free to you and it really helps out the channel, helps it grow, and I would appreciate it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're ta I've taped off the edge around this panel, right along the edge of that stripe, down the molding, the water inlets, and the power inlet. And the reason we're doing that is we don't wanna hit it with the DA and scratch it with the sandpaper. The next thing we're gonna do is we take this DA, this is a dual action orbital sander. I use 320 grit sandpaper on it. That is a fine enough sandpaper that you can paint over it, but it's also coarse enough to sand out this primer smooth so we don't have any texture in the primer or in the white area. So you can see in that primer, there's a little bit of texture. If you look closely, there's, there's like black dots in there and that's what we're trying to remove. So I'm gonna finish sanding this and then we'll move on to the next step. I also wanted to remind you that you can hand sand this uh, with just a, a piece of sandpaper in your hand. It's gonna take a lot longer and for these purposes, I'm gonna use the machine. It's much quicker. You could also use a lesser uh, grade sandpaper like a 600 or something like that. It's just gonna take a little bit longer because it's not as aggressive. So now I'm gonna blow this panel off and remove all the dust so I know what I have to work with because now I'm gonna take my scuff pad and I'm gonna go along the edges of that tape line where I d couldn't get the DA in there to sand and I'm gonna sand it real well to create scratches so the paint and the clear coat stick properly. So now I'm going to mask the rest of this panel off so we don't get any overspray on the rest of the RV. Very simply, just follow the tape line. You can use newspaper and tape or whatever you have available that's gonna keep overspray from the rest of your RV. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take some adhesion promoter called Bulldog, put it in my gun, and we're gonna spray that entire panel with Bulldog to promote the adhesion of the paint and the clear coat. And while I'm on the paint bench, I'm gonna mix up my paint so it's ready to spray. It's a two to one ratio, paint versus reducer. I'm going to pour in my two parts of paint, and there is a mark on this quart cup. And then I'm gonna pour in my reducer. It's a urethane reducer. I'm gonna pour in the other part and we'll be ready to spray. So now I've blown all the dust off of this panel and I'm gonna wipe it down with some automotive prep solvent or wax and grease remover. We're gonna wipe off the entire panel, remove any contaminants or any dust, and then we'll be ready to spray the paint. And one little tip here, if you notice on white, it's very important. I wipe off the white first uh, when I wipe it off with the wax and grease remover because sometimes if you wipe off the primary area and then go over the white, you can leave streaks and you may not get those removed before you paint and they'll be stuck under the clear coat or under the paint. So we wipe off the white area first, the portion we're blending into or in this case we're painting and then go over the primer. So now it's time to paint. I'm gonna use my automotive spray gun and you can pick these guns up very reasonably priced at like Harbor Freight or somewhere like that. I am using the <clears throat> adhesion promoter right now. We're gonna spray it over the entire panel. Make sure we get the edges really well because those are where it will tend to peel if it's gonna peel. So we wanna put one good coat on let it dry for about five to 10 minutes, and then put another good heavy coat on. Uh, I'm outdoors, so it's drying pretty quickly, and we'll be ready to spray. 
So now I'm going to pour my paint in my gun. No need to clean it or remove any adhesion promoter that's left in there because that's just going to help. So now it's time to paint and we're going to want to cover the primer first. We're going to use long, nice, even strokes. We're going to overlap about 60% and get a good coat on first. Actually, a, a pretty light coat. Just get it covered, get it wet and let it dry and let it flash off. This does a couple things. If there are any contaminants on there that are going to react to the paint, um, it's less likely that they're going to react if there's less product on the panel. So if you put a light coat on, it's less likely to react and it'll create a little bit of a base for your second and heavier coat. So now we're going to tack rag it off. We're going to remove any dust or lint that's on the panel after we paint. Of course, I let it dry. If you're inside, probably about 10 minutes. I'm out in the sun. It dries in like two minutes. So we're going to put another coat on here. <clears throat> Again, covering the primered areas. White is a little bit more difficult to cover with depending on the type of paint that you're using. This is a nascent paint. It's from O'Reilly's and it's a it's an inexpensive paint so it co doesn't cover quite as well as other higher quality brands. So we're gonna once again tack it off, remove dust or dirt, and then add another coat of paint. And I'm covering the entire panel this time. It's getting to the point where it's covered. So we're just gonna continue this process until your panel is completely covered and you cannot see any primer underneath. So we're gonna tack it off once again before we clear. This is important because if you don't clean it before you clear, any contaminants or dust or dirt or lint will be stuck underneath the clear. Okay, so we're getting ready to clear here. And let me talk a little bit about the gun setup. You want to turn your volume all the way in and then turn it about one and a half turns out for the volume. That's the material that's coming out of your gun. And your fan pattern should be wide open and your pressure should be of around 25 PSI. That'll give you a good baseline to start when you're clearing. I would, I would uh, caution on the side of putting it on not as wet first until you get the hang of it. And then you can spray a good heavy coat on the second coat. So we're going to put two coats of clear on this. I'm hitting it pretty hard so it's ready to go and it's all cleared. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. It's free to you and it really helps out the channel. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.